were the cloud by day, fire by night. You gave us your name to be our guide. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You're in the inhale, Yahweh. You're in the exhale, Yahweh. Hey, you're in the inhale, Yahweh. You're in the exhale, Yahweh. Every time we breathe, we say your name. Every time we breathe, we mention your name. Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Let everything that has breath say the name of the Lord. Check it. Let everything that breathes say the name of the Lord.
God who is for all we please. Almighty is hallelujah. Hallelujah. This morning we want to bless God. This morning we worship Him. Amen. We honor Him. Uh, as the scripture says, from the rising of the sun, even unto the going down of the seam, the name of the Lord is to be praised. And this morning I want to welcome all of you. Um, our um, leaders, our pastors, our elders, amen, assistant pastor, pastors, whatever leadership position you hold within the church, I want to welcome you this morning in the name of Jesus. Um, we've been called um, for this month of April to a, a, a month of prayer, and we, the leaders, we get the opportunity to start first, all right? And even before we um, even before we go any further, um, those of you who are the pastors and assistant pastors, if you recognize that your um, some of your leaders are not on here, please, please, we're asking you to just give them a shout. And um, so, because we want everybody, we need everybody on this morning. All right, this is going to be a this is going to be a very um, very serious and intense um, session this morning. And we need everybody um, in the Christian mission, uh, our leaders, we need, we need you on. Amen? Praise the Lord. So once again, once again, we want to welcome you to this hour of prayer. And we are going to be, we are going to be calling upon the Lord together. We're going to be worshiping the Lord together. Hallelujah. And I believe the Lord is going to do some awesome strategic things in this in this, um, this this place this morning among us as family. Amen. I believe that God is going to just uh, shift some things today. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Um, without any further ado, we, we are going to get started. And um, I want to ask um, our pastor, um, uh, Myrtle um, Holder, to invoke God's presence with us this morning. Amen. And we're all going to, we're, we're all going to be, let's all be um, together um, in prayer Hallelujah. this morning. Hallelujah. Pastor Holder. A blessed good morning to everyone. Greetings Hallelujah. in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Morning. We are grateful this morning to be in a session like this to Thank give you, honor Lord. and glory to the most high God, Jehovah Elion, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Thank you, Jesus. And as we come this morning, we come emptying ourselves before God because we stand in need of him to fill us, let everything in us decrease and let his spirit fill us. This morning, we're gonna begin our prayer service and giving God all the honor, all the glory, all the thanks and all the praise mm. this morning for all he have done for us. Thank and you, not Jesus. And what he have done, but for who he is. Let us join one at earth this morning. And I believe in God as we stand together and we approach our hearts before Almighty God. He said he is willing to hear our cry and to attain on to our prayer. Amen. Father in heaven this morning, we give your name all the glory, all the honor, all the thanks and all the praise. We are mindful this morning that you are the Lord of our lives and not ourselves. That's and right. Morning, we come before you humbly, Lord, giving your name the highest note of praise. Thank you, Lord. This morning, that you are worthy to be praised. You from are the worthy of the sun unto the going down. And it is not in ourselves this morning, it is all because of you this morning that we are alive and numbered among the living in this land. So, for that cause, this morning, we praise your holy name. Yeah, you are the God of the universe, Lord. And you are the God this morning who deserves all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. We look to no other God but you, Lord, because the other gods are the works of man. But we look to you this morning who is alive, this morning who is the God who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could yeah. ever think of, act, or desire. Yeah. We are thankful this morning to be 
a life to see the light of another day. Thank and because you, Lord. And this morning we are alive, Lord, we will praise you. Because you declare oh, that your name is worthy to be praised from yes, the rising Lord. of the sun to the going down. And God, this morning, you are gracious, Lord. And Thank you, Lord. Gracious, we humble ourselves before you. We pray, oh God, this morning, as we come before your throne. God, you tell us this morning that you have given us this uh, the authority. This morning, you have given us the permission. You have given us, Lord, the invitation to come boldly you. before your throne of grace. Mm. And you said we would obtain mercy and some right. grace to help in the time of our need. Father God, you see and know all our needs this morning. Nothing is hidden from you, Lord. And God, as we approach your throne, Lord, we not only approach your throne, Lord, oh God, for our needs, we approach your throne with praise, with thanksgiving. Listen oh, yeah. up to your name that is uh, as above every name. You tell us this morning that your father have highly exalted you. Amen. And given you a name that is above every, every name. name. And that at your Thank name, you. every name shall bow in Hallelujah. things in heaven, in things in earth, and things Hallelujah. under the earth. And every tongue shall confess you as Lord to the glory of God the Father. So for that cause this morning, Father, we bless your name. Be joined with the psalmist David this morning and saying, Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Bless the Lord. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and forget not all his benefit. Father, we haven't forgotten what you have done for us at the cross. We mm. remember, Lord, everything you have done. And for that cause this morning, we rejoice in our Lord, our risen Savior. Thank we you, are Lord. Thank you this morning, Lord that we can draw nigh unto you. We can bless you for another day. We can say that we know our Redeemer lives this morning. And Lord oh God, this morning, we worship you for who you are. God, I present this morning, this session, this prayer session before you, Lord. Father God, we are interceding to you, Lord, for help, oh God, for every situation. We need every your help today. Everything, like God, we stand in need of. Father God, you tell us that you are the source. You have for everything that we stand and god we come before you oh god pouring out our hearts to you lord because this morning you are the prayer hearing prayer answering god i pray god every prayer that is offered up to you mighty god that you will look upon us this morning lord as we humbly you, oh god beseech you to hear our cry and to hear our cry our today prayer. from the rising sun this morning to the going down i Pray for each and every one here in this session. I pray, God, you invoke your spirit within us and oh, through yes. us, Lord, as we go through this hour of prayer. God, it is a sweet hour to pray to you, Lord. Thank you, and Lord. Father, God, we know that, God, you will hear our cry and you will mm -hmm. give ear to our prayer. So we ask your blessings this morning upon us. We thank you, Lord, for the one who's hosting this and for all of us who have come together, oh God, to make it possible, God, as we cry out to you, Lord, that we know that, God, you're the God who said you will never leave us nor forsake us. You, God, you said you're the one who shall supply all our needs oh. according to your riches and glory. And we give you all the glory this morning. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise. I pray, mighty God, for the outpouring of your spirit upon our lives. God, we are asking of it, Lord, because we need it. And God, you tell us whatever we ask in your name, that you will do it. And you promise, God, that you will do more for us than we could think of, of acts or desire. You said you will do the exceedingly, the abundantly above all. So this morning, we bless your name. We lift your name on high. We exalt and extol your name. We join with David and do it, Lord God. We heard him say this morning, I will bless the Lord at all. I'll bless time. the Lord. And your praises shall continue. Thank you, Jesus. Continue be in my mouth. And my soul shall make her boast in the Lord. And the humble shall hear their off and be glad. So, Father God, this morning, take all the honor. Take all your glory. Take all your praise that you're worthy and deserving of this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. And we say thank you, Lord, for hearing. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much, Pastor Holder. And indeed, we feel the presence of the Lord here this morning. Amen. I'm going to ask our, our admin to, um, we're going to worship the Lord as we sing this song. Um, well, we listen to it. Lord, I thirst for you. Amen. And while this is playing, I am going to also ask you, if you really can, I, I need everybody to put on their cameras this morning. Amen. Um, go ahead. Lord, I thirst for you.
Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. I will worship you, almighty God, in the beauty of your holiness. Amen, amen. Once again, I'm going to ask everyone to turn on their cameras. Uh, we're going to, this is a corporate session this morning among us. Amen. Even though we are not in the building, we are together. Amen. 
Um, I, while I was um, preparing for this session this morning, the Lord would have redirected me to go right back, right back to um, that message where I would have shared on last quarterly. And I believe that many of, if not everyone um, who's on here, many of you um, would have heard of the message. And I just want to just share some points here this morning that the Lord is redirecting our hearts, even as um, our pastors and leaders, amen, of this, um, this noble mission. Um, All right, you can cut you on, use it. The, comes from Colossians chapter two, um, and I would have read from verse six down to about 10. Um, I just wanna pick up a, a few points here this morning at, before we go into prayer. Would have shared on the topic, the availability, the availability of his fullness all right focusing on verse nine now um verse six says as you therefore receive christ jesus the lord so walk ye in him we have been called to walk with walk in the lord he is supposed to be in us he is supposed to be our commander in chief he is supposed to be our Lord. And, and when you think about a Lord, amen, you think about an individual that have um, the, the uh, 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 he's, he or she has rule over a, a, a territory of an area. And um, the Lord Jesus the Christ, he have um, ultimate rule um, over everything. And if we have submitted ourselves to Christ Jesus, the Lord, then he becomes our Lord. He becomes our governor. And like I said, he, he becomes our commander in chief. And even as leaders, we need to be led. We need to be governed by the spirit of the Lord. We need to be led by the Lord. So walk he in him. Verse 7 says, being rooted and built up in him and established in the faith, as he's been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Again, if we are going to um, go throughout, if we are going to be successful in ministry, uh, if we are going to be successful even in our Christian life, we need to have, we need to be firmly grounded. Um, our roots need to go down and, 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 and then and we need to be built up. So when, and I was given also an explanation, you look at a tree, a strong tree, amen, in order for that strong, that tree to be strong, it must have um, some serious roots, some very big roots, right? And as those roots go down, you'll see um, the tree going up, the shoots going up. So this is what's going to happen to us as believers. The more we get deeper in the word of God, the more we get deeper uh, and stronger in God, amen, the more that we are going to grow. Uh, uh, God, I believe that the Lord has called uh, the church, even in this time, to a serious level of spiritual growth. All right? And, and we must focus on that, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Um, uh, one of this, the verses in the scripture that is very dear to my heart comes out of verse 8. It gives us a warning. Uh, uh, it says, beware. Paul says to this church uh, uh, at Colossae. And by the way, by the way, by the way, uh, um, I, I also would have mentioned that this book of Colossae, um, as Paul wrote it, he starts out by saying, um, what great conflict, what great conflict I have for you, um, you saints who are at Colossae and also you who are at Laodicea. And as, uh, as I, I, I look and I study about these two uh, churches, it immediately tells me that the same characteristics, the same attitudes, the same mentalities that you can find in one church, you will see it in another. And, and, and he says, what great conflict. And I, as I read this scripture, I begin to look 
into this thing inwardly and I can recognize that there were some bad attitudes. Uh, there were some bad mindsets uh, where people would go after their own, their own agendas and after their own stuff. They, 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 were, they would have deviated from the call of the Lord. They would have deviated from the purpose of the Lord and got, gone after their own way. And here in verse 8, it says, be weird, lest any man spoil you. And I talk about spoilage. Uh, don't allow any anyone, anything. As a matter of fact, if you are not connected to the Spirit of God, if not, you're not being led by the Spirit of God, you will be automatically, you will be led by another spirit. You will be led from another source, whether you want to agree with it or not. If you're not onto God, if you're not aligned to God, you've not submitted to God, automatically you will be led by another spirit. And here Paul says, be weird. There's a warning. Lest any man spoil you through their own philosophy, their own ideologies, their own beliefs. All right. And we know that people have their own belief systems. They have their own I, I, ideas of what should be and what should be not. And, and, and here's what I'm, I'm saying this here again, that if men and women, we are not led and we claim, we claim, we claim to be led by the spirit of the Lord. We claim uh, 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 to have the Lord as our Lord, our, our, our commander in chief. But many times we have fallen away. We have shut our ears, amen, from from, from what the Lord is saying to us, and then we listen to other sources, we listen to other men, and so they drive us, they, they, they take us away off as spoil. And he says, not only after their own philosophy, but their vain deceit, and, and some after the traditions of men. I'm telling you, sometimes we have a lot of traditions, and I said that we, we not that we are knocking against traditions, but here's what. Sometimes we allow our own traditions to get in the way of God, get into what God wants to do. What, 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 there's something fresh that God, a fresh move that God might want to bring in because we're so stuck in a mode because we're, we're so, we're, 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 it is like this. I'm accustomed to doing things this way. I'm accustomed to doing things that way. And, and it, it must go this way. It must go that way, right? And we allow certain things to get into the way of God. I've said there are th times I, I, we, we, I don't really um, got to knock against traditions. But here's what. If traditions are going to get in the way of God, you know, move aside. Just put them one side and allow the spirit of the Lord to do what he wants to do. So he says that the traditions of men, we are following after the traditions of men, after the rudiments of the world. There's so much in the world today that is called, causing um, us to be distracted. We've turned away. We've deviated from what the Lord is saying to us. And what he wants us to do. We're, uh, we're, we've been um, spoiled through the rudiments of the world. And not after Christ. Remember I'm saying that Christ. He's supposed to be our commander in chief. He's our Lord. He's our leader. He's our supreme being. And here's what. And for verse 9 says. For in him dwelleth all the fullness. All the fullness fullness of the Godhead, amen, in bodily form. So when you look at Jesus, when you look at Christ, you're looking at the fullness. You're looking at uh, uh, what God have, he has in, in, in Jesus. And when you look at Jesus, when you keep your focus on Jesus, whatever is on the inside of Jesus can automatically come on the inside of you because there is a divine connection. So God is called, listen, he has everything that you need for this journey, everything that you had, um, that everything that you need for ministry, it is available to you. God says, I already have it in my hands or I, I already have it to pour out to you, but you must come where I am. Uh, and here's this morning, God is calling us as leaders. He's calling us and he says, come over, come over to the place where I am. I am calling you. Uh, and some of us, we have been stuck. We, 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 we've been, uh, uh, is like we are over there and God is over here or we might be over there and God is over here it's like we're there's a whole we're, we're a whole boulevard amen apart from God and, and God says come over come over come over where I am I I, I want to I, I, there's something I want you to have there's something I, I want to give you and you are not going to receive even although God have it available you're not going to receive it we are not going to receive it unless we come for it 
So he's calling us. He's calling us. Amen. And I'm, I'm, I want to challenge us this morning as leaders, as the spirit of the Lord puts it in my heart. I want us to I, I want us to hear God today. I want us to hear God because I believe God. I believe the Lord that God wants to shift our organization in the direction that he wants to go, that he wants to take us. And, 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 and here's it. I always say, and, and you know it, I'm just going to repeat this. If God have called you, if God has called you, he will equip you. Amen. If God have called you, he got the equipment. He's he don't call a man. He does not call a man and just leave him like that. Like there, he give you, he, he you're, you're given the tools. A soldier going into battle, a soldier going to war. Don't go to war empty-handed, right? Don't go to war empty-handed. He has the tools for the job. So God have the equipment available for us. And so he's calling us. So we have the fullness of God. Uh, uh, he says the fullness of God is, uh, 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 is bodily. And then verse 10 says, and ye are complete. I don't know about you, amen. But when I align myself with the Lord Jesus Christ, he said, I am complete. You are complete. And ye are complete in him, which is the head. I want us to note this this morning, which is the head over all principality. And power. When you see that word principality, I believe all of us know what it means. Every principality, every demonic force. Amen. That's out there in the ear. Amen. It is in the ear. God says, I have given you the power. Amen. I've given you the power over every serpent, over every demonic force, over every demonic activity, every principality. I've given you. It's available to you to this morning. Here's what, and I'm going to touch on this even before we go into prayer, because like I said this morning, it is very, very serious. I don't know about you. But I have recognized, as a matter of fact, before I, I, before I go right there, I want you to flip over to this last, flip over to this last, um, this last verse. Um, I didn't share this one on, 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 I didn't share this one during the message, but this is specifically this morning for us as pastors and leaders. Let's go back to Colossians 4. I did go into Colossians 4 um, as I was showing you the connections between the church at the, similar, the similarities between the church at Colossae and the church at Laodicea. But what I want to bring to our attention this morning, I would have read verse 16 where Paul is asking this epistle to be read, this epistle of Coloss this uh, epistle, this letter to be read at the church, the Laodicean church. And he says, also see to it that the, um, their letter is read in your church because it was a serious letter. But why I want to draw to your attention this morning is verse 17. Everybody look at verse 17. Colossians chapter 4 and verse 17. He says, And say to Archippus, Take heed to the ministry which thou have received in the Lord, that thou Fulfill it. I want you, even in your spare time, to analyze this verse and say to Archippus. And this morning, all we, all of us, this morning are Archippus. All of us. And say to Archippus, take heed to the ministry that thou have received in the Lord. 
that thou fulfill it. Now, when you search throughout the scripture, you don't see anything about Archippus. Any place else, you don't see anything about Archippus. But Archippus here, this one verse, it would suggest to me that Archippus was a servant leader in the, the, the Colossi church. And this verse alone would amplify that there were some there were some serious conditions in the church that would have brought discouragement that would have brought and caused persons to deviate from the fear for and, and deviate from the plan of God. If we understand and we we read we 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 made mention of um, what the Lord said to John, the other Patmos, as he wrote to the angel of the church, the Laodicean church, and, 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 and he says, I know your works. For you are not, for you are neither hot or cold. You're in a lukewarm state. And because of that, I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready to spit you up. I'm ready to spew you out of my mouth. And, and here's what's happening. So the church, this church, and I'm, I'm saying if God, if, if, and I, I will say to you, if Paul is saying the same letter that you get, let it be read in Colossae, uh, let it be read in uh, Laodicean. And, and the letter that Darius received, let it be read in, in Colossae. And, and I'm seeing that the same mentalities, the same operations, the same mindsets, the same functions that would have happened, would have gone on in one church, it was mirrored in the other church. And, and these folks, they were found in, in a state where they were neither hot or they were cold. They, 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 they were like straddling the fence. Uh, they, 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 they were, um, you know, sometimes they're, sometimes they're for God and, and the things of God. And then they're, on the other hand, they're for the things of, uh, uh, of the world. And Paul, it, it cannot be, it cannot be like this. It cannot be like this. Here Paul says to Archippus, take heed, remember you have been called. Remember what have been laid upon you. Remember, remember, remember. And, and here's a, the thing he said, to take heed. When you see that word, he, to take heed, somebody tell you to take heed. It's a warning. It's a warning. And here's it. I'm about to say this. I, I, I've recognized even throughout this pandemic that the church and I'm, I'm when I say the church I'm talking about I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the clergy as well as the late lady many of us have gotten callous we have gotten callous where we have, would have deviated, deviated from the standards that God have set. We followed, a lot of us have followed after our own ideologies and what we might conjure up. We've gone after that. And yes, I'm calling it callous. And God is calling us this morning back to realign ourselves, back to holiness, back to his standards. God is calling us this morning. All of you are, ident all of us, let me say, we are identified in the scripture this morning as Archippus. Take heed to the ministry that you have been called to. 
This is a very serious moment, beloved. This is very serious. God is calling us to take heed. And hear what? See to it that we fulfill it. Now, in this time of prayer, now, in this time of prayer, I am going to ask all of us this morning, God is calling us to repentance, right? God is calling us, all of us, to repentance because we need to be realigned, all right? And I believe there's a reason why we, as leaders, we've been called um, to start off this month of prayer. And we just want to follow the leading of the Lord. So here's what we're going to do. Amen. For the next three minutes, I want everybody to, I want everybody to turn on their mics. Listen to me very carefully. I want everybody to turn on their mics and we are going to have a corporate prayer. This is a prayer of repentance. If you've heard this word this morning, it resonates in your spirit. We've been, the Lord have tell us, told us this morning to take heed to the ministry. This is a ministry. Listen, y'all, I don't know about you, but if you're called as a pastor, if you've been, if the Lord have, have called you as a pastor, this, listen, this, I, I was telling somebody the other day, you know, some people, when, when they look at ministry, when they look at, at the office, the, many people just see the glicks and the glamour, but they don't ever see, they see the glicks, but they don't see the licks. Come on. We've been called. We've been called to a ministry. This is a serious ministry that the Lord have called us to. He says, see to it that we fulfill it. So I'm going to ask everybody at this moment to turn on their mics. And we are going to corporately ask God for forgiveness. We are going to repent before the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. So let's all Amen. do this at this moment. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can hear your heart speaking clearly in the midst of all that is going on. We are exactly what we want us to do today. We are exactly what we want us to do today. We are exactly what we want us to do today. We are exactly what we want us to do today. We are exactly what we want us to do today. We are exactly what we want us to do today. We are exactly what we want us to do today. Father, we need to make it to the God. Give us to answer the cleanses to the cleanness of the Lord. We may be pure as you are so pure. We want us to be God. Father, forgive us as a leadership for the many mistakes that we would have made, God. Give us to be the many traditions we would have made. Give us to be the many Give us for the many times where you were telling us to do something and did something else because it was not it was not the time to hold me God ever forgive us God in those times where you would want us to go this way you would have turned gone another direction in Jesus Christ plus Lord God but as we go through this session we can see the key to continue to change the 
name praise the lord praise god hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. this morning as we continue we're going to have four prayer points this morning very um, strategically even um, uh, selected this morning we're going to have our pastors praying amen um uh, the first prayer point um is uh submission to the plan and purpose of the Lord based on Colossians chapter 2 and verse 6. And I'm going to ask our Reverend Dave Worrell, amen, to come in and pray on this prayer point, the submission to the plan and the purpose of the Lord. Amen. And if you can, Pastor, please read that verse again. Reverend Dave Worrell. It's the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him. Heavenly Father, this morning, we come to you recognizing that you are the omnipotent God. You are the omniscient God. You are the omnipresent God. You are the sovereign Lord. The one we look to this morning. The one who is in total control the one who knows the future, the one who knows everything. Father, this morning, we recognize, Lord, that you have a plan and a purpose for us, each and every one of us as individuals. You have a plan and purpose for us as a church, Lord. Mm -hmm. Father, this morning, we want to be in an attitude of submission, Lord. We recognize this morning, Lord, that the revealed things belong to us and the secret things belong to you. And so, Father, this morning, as you unfold your plan and your purpose for us, as you unfold your plan and your purpose, Lord, for this church, Father, we want to lay hold of that plan, Lord. Yes, sir, Father, Lord. we want to put that plan yes, at the Lord. forefront of our minds, Lord. Father, we want to walk in your way this morning. And so, Father... We want to trust you, Lord. We want to display the faith of Abraham this morning, Lord. 
that when you asked him to leave where he was and to go to a land where he did not know, Father, he followed you wholeheartedly. And you counted, Lord, his faith as righteousness, Lord. So, Father, this morning, we pray there, Lord, that you would give us that faith of Abraham, Lord. Father, we pray, Lord, that as we look to you, Lord, we pray, Lord, that we will trust your word. We will trust your plan, Lord. We know, Lord, that there's a way that seems right to a man, but the end thereof is destruction. Father, for too long, we have been walking in our own way. We have been going around in circles with the children of Israel in the wilderness. Father, because we have leaned on our own understanding, we have not acknowledged you in all of our ways, Lord. And so, Father, we have been walking in frustration. We've been walking, Lord, in futility, in vanity, Lord. But, Father, this morning, we want to, we, we want to come out of this, Lord, and we want to go, Lord, in your way. We want to follow your path for us this morning. So, Father, this morning, Lord, we pray, Lord, that even when we don't know what to do, we will keep our eyes on you, the author and finisher of our faith, Lord. Father, our thing for this year is looking unto you. And so, Father, we pray, Lord, that you will help us to look to you, Lord, even, Lord, in the fulfillment of your plan and your purpose, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Father, we pray, Lord, that you will help us, therefore, this morning to submit, Lord, to your will and to your way, Lord. Knowing, Lord, that your way is better, Lord, than our way. Knowing, Lord, that your plan is better than our plan. Help us, Lord, to lay aside our own agendas. Help us, Lord, to lay aside our own wants and desires, Lord, and to look to you, Lord, for the fulfillment, Lord, of your plan. Knowing, Lord, that your way is the better way and the only way, Lord. Father, we recognize this morning, Lord, that indeed you are the vine, we are the branches, Lord. We cannot exist except we exist in you, Lord. Oh, Father, we pray this morning, Lord, that you will help us, Lord, to remain attached, Lord, to this vine this morning, Lord, so that we can draw strength, Lord, so that we can draw nourishment, Lord, to help us, Lord, on this way that you've called us to. So, Father, this morning, we pray, Lord, that you would give us an attitude, Lord, of humility, an attitude of submission, Lord. Help us, Lord, this morning to recognize, Lord, that we are servants, Lord. We are serving you, Lord. Oh, Father, help us, Lord, this morning to recognize, Lord, that we are not the master of our destiny. We are not the masters of our faith, Lord. But, Father, help us, Lord, to recognize, Lord, that it is in you that we live and we move and that we have our being, Lord. So, Father, this morning, we pray there, Lord, that you will help us, Lord. Help us as individuals. Help us as a church, Lord, to submit to your plan and to your purpose. And Father, we give you all the honor, we give you all the glory, we give you all the praise, Lord, as we see your plan and your purpose unfold in this time that we are living in. So help us, Lord, this morning. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. amen. Praise God. Thank you so much, Reverend amen. Dave. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I pray this morning that we will mm. all submit to the plan and the purpose of the Lord in this season. Amen. Our next prayer point um, speaks of uh, spiritual maturity in the church. We want to see spiritual uh, maturity in our assemblies. And um, to lead out this prayer, we're going to call on our pastor, Jacqueline Phillips. Amen. This um, verse comes out of, uh, this prayer point comes out of uh, chapter two, verse seven. And I'm also going to ask her to read that verse as well. Pastor Phillips. Praise the Lord. Can you hear me? Good morning. Good morning. Go right ahead. We can hear you. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The word of the Lord clears, rooted and built up in him and established in the faith. Amen. As ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. That is from the book of Colossians chapter two, verse seven. Praise the name of the Lord. Father God, we just want to bless your name this morning. Father, we want to praise you. Father, we want to 
give you this morning a heart of thanksgiving unto who you are as our God, as our hiding place. We declare this morning that you are the great God of glory. We declare this morning that you are Elohim. We declare this morning, mighty God, that you are El Elyon, that you are omnipotent, that you are omniscient, mighty God. We declare this morning that you are omnipresent. We declare this morning, God, that you are the immutable God. You change if not. You are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore this morning. We declare this morning, God, that you are El Gabor, that you are El Elion, that you are Elohim this morning. And this morning, God, even as we bring this prayer point before you, God, Lord, we yield ourselves to you today. We come, oh God, and we yield ourselves. We yield, mighty God, our wills, mighty God, that your purpose for our lives will be established. Father God, we declare this morning the alignment of our lives, oh God, unto who you are, unto your likeness, unto your character, mighty God. This morning, oh God, according to who you are, oh God, we align our spirits, oh God, with your word, and we align our lives, oh God, with your word. We align our souls, we align our bodies, mighty God, according to your word this morning. Father, I pray that our lives will be built up in you this morning. Lord, today we declare lives that are built up in Jesus Christ, lives that are rooted in who he is as our God, in who he is as our hiding place, in who he is as our rock, in who he is as our refuge, our present help in the time of trouble today, oh God. I pray today, mighty God, that, that we would have lives, oh God, that are temperate, mighty God, lives that have a clean, mighty God, and a clear perspective glorious God this morning. I pray God in our lives, Lord God, it will be showing forth for glorious King, the steadfastness of who you are, Lord God. We declare today amongst us as a leaders, mighty God in the house of of faith, we declare stability oh glorious King. We declare today that stability that comes of being rooted and grounded in Jesus Christ. We declare today that our lives lives that are rooted mighty God shall be like the cedars of Lebanon glorious God and father as our lives are rooted and grounded as cedars of Lebanon Lord your word reminds us and tells us that the cedars oh God of Lebanon were the glory glorious God of Lebanon and I pray oh God as God as we have rooted lives our lives will bring glory and honor and praise and majesty to who you are Lord Jesus Christ this morning I pray mighty God this morning that as we are rooted according to your word your word tells us that we are trees mighty God of righteousness oh God father as trees of righteousness this morning oh God being glorified in who you are, bringing change and transformation, God, to the lives of many. Mighty God, I pray this morning your word, your word that says that we will build back the old waste places, mighty God. Your word that says that and comes and tells us, mighty God, that we will be raising up the former desolation, glorious God. Your word that comes and says that and tells us, oh God, that the the, the, the desolations of many generations will be repaired, mighty God. Father, we are in a new season, God. God, we are in a season of war. God, there's a change in the earth, mighty God. And I pray this morning uh, that we as a leaders will see the change that has come forth in the earth, a change that has been quick, uh, a change that has been hastened, glorious God, a change, mighty God, that has been caused by just one event uh, has caused the whole world to accelerate in a place mighty God whereby my God is profound but I pray this morning and I declare your word your word that you have declared upon the remnant in the earth your word mighty God that you have declared upon the ecclesia mighty God your word that you have sent forth mighty God the authoritative command from the Lord himself of divine acceleration the building up, mighty God, of the waste places, mighty God, of the lives of, of men and women, mighty God, that do not know you and them that know you, those that has been put in our care as leaders, mighty God, those that look upon us, mighty God, to, to be that, that, that person, oh God, that lead, that be that person, oh God, that, that they can look to, Father, I pray today, Lord God, I pray, Lord God, that in our lives, oh God, we're the 
sprinkles uh, and where the ruffles are this morning. Uh, Father, I speak that smoothing by the power of the Holy Spirit, uh, O oh, Spirit of the living God. Uh, mighty God, I pray this morning that the Spirit of the Lord, as he moved in the beginning of time upon the waters of the earth uh, in Genesis chapter 1, where change came to the earth. Mighty God, I pray right now, God, that the experience of the Holy Spirit in our lives will, will exhibit that change, but exhibit that transformation uh, that will draw men even more now to Christ, uh, that sure foundation, Lord Jesus, uh, knowing this morning that you are the master builder. Oh God, uh, as cedars of Lebanon, uh, let the roots uh, of our lives be deep in you. Mighty God, as they go deep, uh, even as they go deep, mighty God, and they draw from the waters of the well of your word. Mighty God, I pray today that even mighty God, as we stand, glorious God, and as the bow of the tree, meaning our lives, as we stand in Christ, God, your word says that our lives are hid in you. Mighty God, I pray that extension, glorious God, this morning, I declare that extension in us. I declare that extension of who Jesus Christ is this morning in our lives, that many will come into the kingdom of God, the method of, of evangelism and the strategic plan of Jesus Christ this morning to bring advancement in the earth will come forth because we have made that decision, mighty God, to be rooted, to be built up, glorious God, in you, and according to your word, establish in the faith, mighty God, a firm foundation. God, I declare today the foundation of God stands. Mighty God, I declare that today the foundation of God stands, a sure foundation, mighty God. Your foundation in our lives is sure. Or your foundation in our lives, mighty God, is authentic. Uh, mighty God, your foundation in our lives today, mighty God, there's no discrepancy in that foundation. Mighty God, there's no doubt in that foundation, mighty God. For Lord, your word tells us that whom you did for you, you did predestinate to be called the sons of God. God, you has foreknown us. God, you have for knowledge of who we would be. You have elected and you have called us, mighty God, to that place of stability in Christ. Oh, today, God. Oh, today, Lord. Oh, today, God. We arise in you, oh, King of Kings. We arise in you, oh, Lord of hosts. We arise in you, the great I am. We arise in you, Yahweh. We arise in you, Yeshua HaMashiach. And we Stand in you as we arise, oh God. We stand in you, oh God, in boldness. We stand in you, mighty God, in courage. Why? Because we have that stabilization. Why? Because we have that rooted in you. Why? Because we have that faith, mighty God. Oh, mighty God, your word says that you called a man and his name was Abraham. And your word records and tells us that Abraham believed God and it was accounted unto him as a righteousness. And mighty God, you have called us and placed with us as its leaders, that measure of faith to be courageous. Even as you told Joshua, be thou strong and very courageous. And you reiterate the point to him continuously in the text of Joshua chapter 1. Be thou strong and very courageous, mighty God, for you have called him, mighty God, to go and to possess the ink inheritance of the fathers that you in past time would have said to be what the, the, is, the nation of Israel would have received. And this morning, God, in this time and in this season of war, even as this word perpetuates deep within our hearts, even as this word in the book of Colossians chapter 2 verse 7, mighty God, even as this word, a word of, of, of revival, a word of truth, mighty God, a word of excellence, glorious God, this morning, I pray today that we abound. Oh God, let us abound, glorious God. Let there be an abounding 
glorious God this morning. Let there be a bounding in our hearts. Let there be a bounding, oh God, in our advancement. Father, I speak and I declare over our lives today, being rooted and grounded and stabilized, glorious God. I speak that progression, oh, mighty God. I speak that advancement, mighty God. I speak that development, mighty God. Oh, glorious God, being built up in the most holy faith this morning. I declare that over our lives this morning. Oh, Father God, for you have given us the spirit of liberty this morning. For where the spirit of the Lord is, gives us liberty. And mighty God, we stand in that liberty to advance the kingdom of God, that men will know that our God is alive, that our God is a miracle working God, that our God is a God of transformation and renewal, glorious God, a God that is able to take things that men would have rejected and cast away our lives, oh God, that men and women would, would have looked upon and said, not good enough, God, you are willing to take those lives and bring glory and honor and praise and majesty to who you are as God this morning. So Father, Father, even now, even now this morning, I just pray with enough that persistence. We stand this morning, God, in persistence. We stand this morning in determination, mighty God. Father, that the work of the Lord will excel that the work of the Lord will advance this morning. For your word says that the race is not for the swift, but the battle, mighty God. Your word says the, word, the race is not for the swift, not a battle for the strong, but he that endures to the end, because the battle is the Lord's. And they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength this morning. They shall monk up this morning with wings of eagles. They shall run, Lord God, and not be weary. They shall walk glorious God. We shall walk and not faint. I pray this morning that we will have that eagle mindset, that eagle strategic planning. I pray this morning we will have that eagle visionary glorious God for the eagle is a patient bird. He's a bird that waits, mighty God. He knows when to move. He knows when to shift, mighty God, and he knows when to attack. I pray this morning that we pursue as David was told to do, I recover all this morning. I pray this morning we pursue, mighty God. I pray this morning we pursue, we pursue and recover all. I pray this morning I hear some work among us. I hear some work among us, God, to make up for the two years that have been lost. Mighty God, your word reminds us this morning of a man by the name of Jonah. When you sent it to Nineveh, Jonah did a Hear some work uh, as he carried his message to Nineveh, mighty God. Even in the delay, mighty God, there was advancement in his moving. And I pray this morning, mighty God, every delay be removed. Every setback removed in the, right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every stumbling block this morning that have been there before us this morning, be removed this morning. Uh, I pray this morning, divine acceleration by the hand of God. I pray this morning, conquering, overcoming this morning by the hand of God. I pray this morning, pursuing and recovering all by the hand of God this morning. And I declare that word over our lives this morning, God. I declare the word that says that the righteous flourish like the palm tree this morning. I declare that word this morning that tells us that the trees of the Lord are watered abundantly. Who are those trees this morning? The cedars of Lebanon. The cedars of Lebanon that are planted, they are bound, mighty God, and they stand tall, mighty God, amidst all the trees, oh God, in the valley, mighty God, they stand tall. And I pray this morning, oh God, according to this word, that we will stand tall, rooted and built up in you, established in you, God, by faith, having been taught by you, God, in faith, glorious God, this morning, abounding therein, God, giving you thanks, giving you praises. The songwriter said, looking back in my life, I see all the things you have done for me. He said, I thank you, oh Lord. And I pray this morning, God, that as we look back, mighty God, and we look forward, we will not look 
oh God, unto ourselves, but we will look unto Jesus Christ, who is the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy endured God, the cross, glorious God this morning. You endured, mighty God, despising the shame, no matter how it seemed, Lord Jesus, you stood still rooted deep down in the Father. And I declare that over our lives this morning, God. And we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. And we give you all the praise this morning for the advancement and the progression and the development that you are going to cause our hearsay work to be done amongst us and in this Christian mission. And we thank you, Lord God. In Jesus' name of thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Amen and amen. 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 Praise amen. the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You can come in with your amens. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We amen. are progressive. We are progressive in Jesus' name and we stand on amen. that word. We believe. Amen. We are progressive in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We're on to our amen. third prayer point. This prayer point says to take Pray. heed to sound doctrine. Sound doctrine. And when we talk about talk doctrine, we talk about the one that Jesus taught. Amen. Hallelujah. And this is coming, Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. And our pastor, Marion Corbin, is going to lead us in this prayer. Hallelujah. Good morning to all. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. We are reading from Colossians chapter 2, verse 8, which says, Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. Heavenly Father, we approach your throne this morning in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we honor and we glorify your name this morning. For you alone are worthy. There is no king like you. There is no God like you, Heavenly Father. And this morning we come to you as a group of believers, as a group of people. Lord God, we just want you to work in our midst. We acknowledge our weakness. We acknowledge, Heavenly Father, that we can do nothing without you. And as we look into your word, Heavenly Father, we want your word to be our guide. We want your word to lead. We want your word to direct. We want to be followers of your word. And hence, Father, as we look here this morning, Lord, we want to confess our sins. We want to confess our faults because your word tells us that if we confess our sins, you are faithful and you are just to cleanse us from all unrighteousness and to forgive us from all of our sins. And Lord, where we have gone astray, where we have done things that are contrary to your will, where we have taken on teachings, Lord, which may not be of your will, we ask you this morning, Lord God, that you would rightly divide your word unto us, that we would understand and we would see, and uh, Lord, we would get rid of every heresy. This is what Lord God Paul was teaching to the church at Colossae. He wanted them to hold on to Christ. He wanted them to remember how they were taught and to live as they were taught, not to follow, Lord God, the dictates of others. And sometimes, Lord God, we understand and we see it even in our age where we become caught up, Lord God, with things that sound sweet, they sound nice. And Lord, we, we you know, are people who are very charismatic. And Lord, we listen to them and we take on their mannerisms, we take on their actions, we take on their activities, Lord. And at times, Lord God, it is not scriptural. At times, it is not of you. We ask you, Heavenly Father, to help us to search the scriptures. And Lord God, to find those things that will bring honor, that will bring glory to your name. That as we give your word, Father, we would give it up as from the, the oracles of God. We would, we would really, Lord, do our research. We would really go into you. And we would really give sound doctrine. For your word says, whom the sun set free, 
is free indeed. And we want really to be free, Heavenly Father. Free our mind this morning from every ancestral chain which Lord might have held us in bondage over these years in the name of Jesus. We want to be loose today as you would have loosed Lazarus when you went to the grave, Lord God, the grave site, uh, and you called forth Lazarus. You said to the people, loose him uh, this morning, every grave clove that we are still holding on to, this morning we ask you in the name of Jesus, uh, Lord God, that you would loose us and you would set us free in the name of Jesus, that we be able to do your will. Uh, we want, Lord God, to see souls change. Uh, we want, Lord, to make a difference. We want to be that difference uh, in the name of Jesus. We want men and women, even in this time, in this pandemic time, the seek riser. Uh, Lord, we don't want them, Lord, to lose hope as we look around in and 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 the body of Christ, Lord, not only among the Christian mission, but among Lord God, the the, the 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 universal church. And we see, Lord God, what this pandemic has done. We have gone into a shell. Uh, Lord, many of us are remaining in our homes. Uh, and Lord, we are afraid to come to church. We are afraid, Lord God, to live life. Uh, but God, this morning, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we say to you, Lord God, uh, that we free our us from every chain uh, that the enemy will want to enslave us with uh, in the name of Jesus. Every bondage this morning, uh, Lord God, we lose ourselves, we free ourselves, we shake ourselves this morning. Uh, and Lord God, we want to move in the spirit, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, Lord, clear yes, our thoughts. You know, we want our thoughts to be freed uh, in the name of Jesus. We want our minds to be free. We want our minds to be clear in the name of Jesus. We want to see you uh, and we want to see you for who you are. Lord, we have made you too small in our eyes this morning. Uh, and Lord, we want to magnify you again. Uh, Lord, we want to see the power that there is in you. Uh, we want to see the authority that you have even in, in, um, given unto us uh, in the name of Jesus. We want, Lord, to walk, Lord God, as you want us to walk. Uh, Lord, we are walking to puny. Lord, we are walking, Lord God, as though we have no might. We are walking as though we have no power. We are walking, Lord God, as though, Father, there you are no longer God. Uh, we are walking, Lord God, as though you are the God that we would have made with our hands. Uh, and we have to move about. But this morning, God, uh, we declare that you are God of the universe. Uh, we declare that you are God of the heaven. Uh, you are God of the earth. Uh, my God, you are God beneath the earth this morning. Uh, you are God and you will always be God uh, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, we want to live Christ. Uh, we want to walk Christ. We want to speak Christ. Uh, we want to eat Christ. We want to drink Christ. Uh, Lord, we want to be filled this morning, uh, oh Lord, to the brim and to the overflow. Lord God, even as you have called us as leaders at this time, uh, Lord God, we don't want to stagnate this morning. Uh, Lord, we know what happens when we have water which becomes stagnant. Uh, my God, it is of no use to anyone. Uh, so this morning, we want to have that ever flowing water for you are the springs of life this morning uh, and you give life even to us your people uh, in the name of jesus uh, i pray god that you would open our eyes uh, lord god that we may see you uh, in the name of jesus christ of nazareth uh, we want lord to walk father as you have called us to walk uh, we want to live christ in the name of jesus uh, we want lord god to abhor and to guard against any Christian principle, Lord, uh, God, that is not of you. For sometimes, Lord God, uh, we need to search the scriptures more. And we see, Lord God, that we would have, Lord God, truth interspersed, Lord God, with things that are not truthful. Uh, Lord God, sometimes we get a little bit of truth here. And Lord, we get a little bit of ourselves. Uh, but Lord God, we ask you this morning uh, for eyes of discernment. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, Lord, we want to live Christ. We want to see Christ, Lord. We want to be more like you uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, so help us, Lord, to critically analyze uh, all information coming into our sphere in the name of Jesus, uh, Lord God, and that we will walk as you would have us to walk today. We want you to be our guide uh, in making wise decisions. Uh, we want the Holy Spirit, Lord God, to lead us. Uh, we want your Holy Spirit to direct us uh, in the name of Jesus, Lord, so that we will be able, oh Lord God, to lead uh, our people aright. Uh, Lord God, as leaders, we have to know where we stand. Uh, Lord, we don't want to be on the shifting sand today, uh, but Lord, we want to be found uh, on the solid rock, a writer set on Christ, the solid rock I stand. Uh, 
all other ground is sinking sand. Uh, may we remember that and uh, may we understand it, uh, that when we move away from you, Lord God, uh, we are in a shifty position uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, that when we move away from you, God, uh, that all around our soul will give way. But we have to understand uh, that you are our only hope uh, and you are our only stay. So this morning, Lord God, I pray that you would fortify us. Uh, I pray that you will strengthen us as leaders uh, in the name of Jesus. We will know our focus and we will remain focused. Uh, Lord, we are coming this morning, Lord God, uh, as leaders, Lord God, of this mission. Uh, and Lord, we humble ourselves before you. Lord, we don't take it as a right at all this morning, uh, but Lord, we deem it a privilege, uh, Lord, to be chosen by you. Uh, Lord, it is not a man's doing, uh, but it is of your doing. Uh, and Lord, we want that after we have done our best, uh, that you'll be able to say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Uh, my God, we don't want, Lord God, to do things to be seen of men, uh, Lord God, but we want, Lord God, to do things to please you, uh, to bring honor and to bring glory to your name. Uh, we want, Lord God, you said, if I be lifted up, hallelujah, I will draw Amen. all men unto me. Uh, Lord God, so we want you to be lifted up in this day. We want you to be lifted up in this age. Uh, in the name of Jesus, Lord, there are souls to be won. Uh, Lord, we are not content. Lord God, our hearts hurt. Uh, my God, to see. Uh, Lord God, when we look around in our mission, uh, Lord God, and we are seeing the tools and the trees. Uh, my God, we want to see growth. Uh, my God, uh, how will we grow if we, Lord God, do not exercise, oh Lord God, uh, that which you have given unto us. Uh, we want to be faithful. Uh, Lord, we don't want too long we've been talking. Uh, Lord, we have been speaking about things, uh, Lord God, and then we are not putting the activity and the action uh, behind our words. Uh, Lord, motivate us this morning. Uh, we pray for strength this morning in the name of Jesus that you would fortify us, uh, Lord God, and we will be those vessels uh, that are meet, uh, fit for the master's use uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, so Lord, we want to spiritually mature this morning. Uh, we want Lord God to lead your people aright. Uh, we don't want to be stumbling blocks. Uh, Lord, we don't want to be obstacles. Uh, Lord, for so often we can become a stumbling block. Uh, Lord, so often we can become father there uh, 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 an, an obstacle. Uh, when there are those who are looking around and instead of seeing Christ, uh, Lord, they see everything else. Uh, so this morning I pray that you, O oh Lord God, would help us that when others look on us, uh, they will see you and they will see you glorified. Uh, they will see you magnified. Uh, they will see you exalted. Uh, Lord God, we want to take heed how we stand this morning. We want to pay attention to how we are standing. Standing, uh, Lord, so we look into ourselves, uh, and Lord, we pray this morning uh, that we will be drawn closer to you uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We want you to be magnified uh, where we, Lord God, have magnified ourselves this morning. Lord God, we repent. Uh, Lord, sometimes we make ourselves too big, uh, and Lord, we are the ones who are exalted instead of you. Uh, but this morning, we want to know the God that we serve. Uh, we want you to be lifted up. Uh, we want that when men see us, they see us not, but they see Christ in us, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, so Lord, wherever we are this morning, uh, Lord God, throughout the 33, Lord God, even the visions of this church in Barbados uh, and Lord God, extension worldwide. Uh, Lord, we bring them all to you this morning. Uh, we come to you, Lord God, because we know that you are our helper. Uh, we say that you are faithful. Uh, Lord, you promise us that uh, you are a promise keeper. You are a covenant keeper, Lord God. And uh, we know that you are not like man. Sometimes we make a promise uh, with all good intentions. Uh, Lord, we want to keep it but something crops up and we are unable to. But Lord, that's not you. Lord, you keep every promise to us this morning. So Lord, we want, Lord God, uh, that we would do, Lord God, like Jephthah, uh, when we make a vow, even though his vow was a rash vow, uh, Lord, we recognize that when he realized it, he still intended to keep his promise. We too want to keep our promise. Lord, we, there are many promises that we might have made to you. Lord, sometimes we say we're going to serve you until we die. Uh, and Lord God, and along the way, we become complacent, uh, but we come against the spirit of complacency today in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, we come against the spirit, Lord God, of deception today. Lord God, every deceiving spirit this morning, uh, Lord, we dry it up and we burn it with the fire of God this morning. Every spirit, Lord God, that is not of you, 
in the name of Jesus, Lord, every religious spirit, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we want to be true. We don't want, Father, dear, to have a form of godliness, Lord. We crucify that this morning. We put it under the blood of Jesus uh, that no longer will we operate, uh, Lord, in a form of godliness. Uh, but, Lord, indeed, we would operate in spirit. We would operate in truth. You say they that worship you uh, must worship you. And you didn't ask us to. You say we must worship you in spirit and in truth. No other worship will you accept this morning. We don't yes, want to hear this part from me. I know you not. You mm -hmm. work of iniquity. So Lord, this morning we humble ourselves as leaders. Uh, Lord, we come before you this morning. This is our opportunity. Lord God, to come before you as leaders of this work. Uh, Lord, we do not take it for granted at all. Uh, Lord God, it is a great work. Uh, Lord, there are souls to be one in our districts and our neighborhoods where you have planted us. There are lives to be touched uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, help us not to stay in our corner and not to be involved. Uh, we want to be more involved uh, in the name of Jesus. We want to be visible uh, in the name of Jesus. We want to be seen uh, too long Lord God, we have operated and invisibility, Lord, where we were not seen, we were not known, but Lord, we are coming out of that shell, we are breaking that now, that mindset uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we are saying to dear Lord God, no longer are we going to be held by the chains, uh, Lord God, of our forefathers uh, in the name of Jesus, but Lord, uh, we are going to walk in the path uh, that you have called us to walk uh, in the name of Jesus, we want, Lord God, that men and women will know that you are real, Lord, we are no longer going to be operating only, Lord God, within the confines of a wall. Lord, for what help is it to us, uh, Lord God, when we already have the scale fish? Uh, Lord God, we go out and we get some fish and we have to scale it. But when it is already scaled, you're looking to eat it, Lord God. And this is what we are doing, Lord God. When we remain one place, we stagnate uh, because every Sunday, Lord God, and every meeting, we are preaching already to the converted. Uh, Lord God, we want to go out. Uh, Lord God, we want others to know that you are still God. Uh, you are calling people. They are no longer coming to us. No years gone by when we have our special services. We will see every window. We will see every door. People will congregate on the outside. Uh, Lord, we are having services and people are passing to and fro. They're not even looking in our direction. Uh, but God, we want to meet them where they are at. Uh, even as you would have done, uh, you went out into the highways, you went out into the hedges, uh, and you compelled the lost ones to come in. That is your, your command to us this morning. So, Lord, we want to be obedient uh, in the name of Jesus. And this is what Paul was saying to the church at Colossae. As we have been taught Christ, we want the soul live him uh, in the name of Jesus. We don't want to deviate, Lord, from the path, the old and the trodden path that we have tried. So, Lord, help us this morning in the name of Jesus. So, Lord, take charge this morning of us. Cover us under your blood uh, and whatever, Lord God, we, we have not asked of you this morning. We pray, Lord God, that you will still include it in our blessings. Uh, these mercies we ask in Jesus' name of thanksgiving. For your name and your mercy say amen and amen. 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 Praise amen. Amen. Praise amen. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Thank you so much, Pastor Corbin. Amen. I pray that we will really take heed this morning. Hallelujah. It will be our desire. Praise the Lord. The final prayer point that we have, repositioning, reposition to experience completion. This is coming out from verse 10, and I'm going to ask our dear pa Pastor Paul Seeley um, to lead us off in this prayer. We want to reposition to experience completion. All right. Verse 10, Colossians chapter 2 and verse 10. All right. Good morning to one and all. Colossians chapter 2, verse 10 says, reading from the Amplified, and in him you have been made complete, achieving spiritual stature through Christ. And he is the head over all rule and authority of every angelic and earthly power. Let's pray. Father, we give you thanks and we give you praise this morning. God, we bless you because you are God and because you are Lord. 
You know, God, we thank you for the ability to be able to come here, God, to not only talk to you, God, but to hear from you, Father. Father God, there are some people in the world that they cannot hear, God. And for the mere fact that we can hear, God, we can speak, God, we can see, we can move, we can breathe, God. We thank you for that this morning. And we thank you for your grace and your mercies and your loving kindness, God, and your faithfulness towards us as leaders, God. But Father God, we're coming to you this morning because we have a petition to make before you this morning. Father, you, you, the, the prayer point is reposition, God. So for the mere fact that we need to be repositioned, it means that we are out of position in Jesus' name, God. I pray in the name of Jesus that every single leader that is out of position, God, you will realign them according to your word and according to what you want and according to what you desire in Jesus' mighty name, God. Father God, we need you the word to be repositioned in Jesus name God and in this book of Colossi God these people needed to be repositioned so that they can be complete in you in Jesus mighty name God father God for every single thing every single distraction that would have caused us to move out of position God for every single thing that we would have gone we would have done God that you did not want us to do God and we would have moved out of your position we're asking asking you this morning that you will realign us, God. You will reposition us, God, that we can be complete in you, God, to be made full in you, mighty God, because without that completeness in you, God, we cannot achieve what you have commanded us to achieve as leaders, God. I pray in the name of Jesus, God, that we will pour out our hearts before you, mighty God, and you will remove every single thing, God, that should not be there in Jesus' name, God. Father God, you said in your word, God, that we should be living sacrifices, mighty God. There's a reason why you said not dead sacrifices, God. You said living sacrifices, God, because living sacrifices mean that individually, mighty God, we need to come before your throne and we need to lay ourselves on the altar, mighty God, and ask you, God, to replenish us, God, ask you to refill us, God. Ask you to renew us, God. Ask you to give us your strength, your ability, your tenacity, your wisdom, your guidance, your power, and your direction in Jesus' name, God. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, Father, that your Holy Spirit will help us to understand, God, that we need to get back in the position that you have called us to be, God, because that is the position where we operate in the optimal um, place God. That is the position, God, where we can hear your voice, God, where we can hear exactly what you want us to do and where you want us to go, Father. That is the honest way we can be complete in you, God. That is the honest way we can be full in you, God. That is the only way, mighty God, where we can do exactly what you have called us to do in Jesus' mighty name, God. Father God, Job knew it, God. Mighty God, David knew it, mighty God. Joshua knew it, God. Moses knew it, mighty God. And I pray in the name of Jesus, God, that you will realign our leaders, God, that we can be complete in you, God, and we can accomplish the purpose that you have instilled in us, the purpose that you have deposited in us, God, wherever we are across this island, God, whether we are in the south, whether we are in the east, whether we are in the north, or whether we are in the city, in Jesus' name, God, every single one of us have a part to play. God. We are the part of the larger puzzle, mighty God. And we need to do a part where we are, God, so that if any of us are out of position, then, then corporately we cannot be in the correct position in Jesus' name, God. So we're asking you for a realignment, mighty God. We're asking you for a realignment, mighty God, that we can get back into the position, God, and we can, we can experience, God, your completeness, God. We can experience your fullness of your Holy Spirit, mighty God, what you want to do in our lives, God, not only individually, but corporately okay. in Jesus' mighty name, God. So we're okay. asking you according to your power and according to your word, mighty God, that you will grant unto us, God, 
you said in your word, if we knock, God, the door shall be open. You said if we seek, we shall find. You said if we ask, we it shall be given, God. And we are pouring out our hearts this morning, asking before you, God. And we're asking that you will do a, a, a renewed work on the inside of us, God. That you will do a transformation on the inside of us, God. Move us from the position that we are at, God, back to the original position that you would have placed us in Jesus' name, God. We ask that your Holy Spirit would direct God and that your Holy Spirit would take all the honor, the glory, and the praise, God. Help us to be complete in you according to your word, God. Help, to, help us to be the righteous remnant in the earth right now, God. You know the challenges and the difficulties that are being faced in this world, God, because with Without us being in the correct position, then we cannot make the impact, God. So we are asking you, God, that you will take all the honor, all the glory, all the praise. You will hear and you will answer our prayer according to your will and according to your way. I will seal it in Jesus Christ's name, God. That is the seal that you have told us to come to you, boy, by God. The name that has all power or authority and can transform us and reposition us correctly in Jesus' name. So, Father, take all the honor, the glory, and the praise. And we say thank you in advance for what you will do and what you will continue to do in Jesus' mighty name, God. I thank you in advance for the realignment I thank you in advance for the change. I thank you in advance for all that you will do in Jesus' mighty name, God. And we give you all the glory, the praise, and the honor. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. 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 Can we all say amen? Praise amen. the Lord. Praise Let me say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We lift our hands to the most high God and we honor him this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is indeed wonderful. Worthy. Hallelujah. And I pray this morning that we have chosen, we have chosen to recommit and resubmit ourselves to the Lord. We will Amen. see the plan and the purpose of the Lord in, in our lives. Amen. Throughout Amen. our church, our organization, we will see the purpose of the Lord being fulfilled. Praise Amen. the Lord. I want to bless God for all of you on this morning. Amen. At this point in time, I want to invite our, uh, our general superintendent, our Reverend Joel Hope. Amen. He is going to come on right now and, and share with us. Amen. Give us his remarks and greetings. Amen. And after he is finished, I'm going to ask our Reverend um, Lennox Wiggins, amen, to close us out in prayer. Amen. Praise the Lord. Elder Hope, God bless you. Good morning to everyone. It is indeed a great privilege that we can come together in such a fashion Good morning. to give honor to our God and to hear from his word. I want to say thanks to everyone who made it possible to be in the, this session. Thanks to Pastor Kenroy for leading the session. And we continue to trust God. We believe God is about to do something great in our lives as we continue to look to him, who is the author and finisher of our faith and shall be our soon coming king. We know the word says, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. So let us continue to look to him because he is our source, he is our strength, he is our all in all. And without him, we can do nothing. So the Lord continue to bless us and keep us working together because united we stand, but divided we fall. So God's blessing as we continue through the year to fulfill his purpose and his will. Thank God. Shall we pray? Righteous divine heavenly Father, in the name of your son Christ Jesus, this morning hour, we approach your throne with hearts of gratitude and thanksgiving, thanking you, Lord God, for your goodness and your mercy, your love, your care, and your protection. We give you thanks, Heavenly Father, for this opportunity in this new month, April, to be able to convene this prayer vigil, Lord God. And we thank you for this opening session for our leaders. 
We thank you, Heavenly Father, for the vision. We thank you for the insight. We thank you for the divine revelation, Lord, as you have given to us through our moderator, Pastor Kenroy, Lord. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for everything that has transpired in this hour, sweet hour of prayer, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We are glad, Heavenly Father, for the revelation and the insights, Lord. And we declare even now, Lord God, according to all that has transpired, that we are not the same. But we have been transformed. We have been motivated. We have been edified. We have a new vision, Lord, in the way forward. And we pray, Heavenly Father, even now in the name of Jesus, that all the words spoken, all the thoughts shared, Lord, will resonate within our minds, within our spirit, within our being, within our fiber, Lord. Father, I pray even now for divine invigoration and energy, Lord God, to continue even in this pathway throughout the remaining months of this year and into the future. To do thus saith the Lord, we shall not be what you, what only we, we would want to be, but we shall be what you will have us to be. Therefore, Heavenly Father, take our hands, dear yours, Lord. Take our eyes, take our feet, take our entire being, Lord, and use us to your honor and to your glory. We declare that the principalities have come down, Lord God, that doors have been opened, Heavenly Father, and that the path that we walk on, the ground that we tread on, Heavenly Father, shall be yours. The territory that we should invade shall be yours, Lord, because you are doing a new thing, Lord God, in and through our lives. Take all the honor, Lord. Take all the glory. And even, Lord God, as we step into your assemblies tomorrow, Lord God, across this island of Barbados and wherever, Lord God, I pray in the name of Jesus, uh, like as on the day of Pentecost, Heavenly Father, that you will breathe upon us uh, and that your Holy Spirit will come down and go for our worship and go for our assembly and go for our lives, Lord, and that there will be testimonies, Heavenly Father, of lives being saved, Lord God, transformation being experienced, Lord, because this day, Lord, this day, this second day of April in the year of our Lord, 2022, Lord God, is the beginning of great things to come we thank you lord god for preserving our lives and helping us to be in the kingdom for such a time as this lord and therefore lord god as we are advancing your kingdom use us lord may the honor and to your glory and may you be glorified in our lives and in all that we may do these mercies we ask in the name of jesus abide with us this day lord and onward in the name of the father the son and the holy ghost and together we can all say lord let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord God, our strength, our strength, our, and our redeemer. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much, um, Elder. Uh, we bless God. I want to um, pray that we continue in what we would have shared this morning. And as we even continue throughout this year, let's take key to the word of God. All right. It was a pleasure being the uh, moderator this morning. And I, I, I just pray that we will continue. We wish everyone a wonderful day. Amen. And then a wonderful, the, a wonderful day today. And then an awesome day in worship tomorrow. All right. God bless you. Have a good Bye. day, everybody. Same to you. Bless to everyone. No other foundation can we build upon. Not philosophy, nor the wisdom of man. All other ground is sinking sand. Upon. You build your church and the gate.